Yeah, this is Bang Bang Ray Hall. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get on my other phone, yeah? So if it don't come out, it don't come out. If it does come out, you understand why, you know what I mean? Because my other phone keeps going all funny. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just going to tell you about... Um, anyway, we went down, went down to Browns, and I've never been down there before. All these clubs are new to me, you know what I mean? I was just like a West London fucking club man, you know what I mean? Working on the doors. Well, I've done... I've done uh, the venue Victoria. I've been about a bit around the city stream I've done that a little bit of time. I've done a few clubs, you know what I mean? But I've never done like bootleggers and, and, and pal Joeys for Denzies, China Whites and all them sort of clubs, you know what I mean? So anyway, so I'm at Browns. Uh, um, Jake, Jake Brown knows Mickey very well. We walked straight in. Walked straight up the stairs to the VIP. Man, I can't believe it. There's proper people in there. I mean, I'm a lot of people I've never seen before. Well, I've seen him before, but do you know, like famous people, yeah? Like he was up there, Gary Stretz, he had all birds around him, good looking boss, and Gary, you know what I mean? And his brother, I forget his brother's name, but they was there, and it's millions, I mean, the birds love Gary Stretch. Nigel Ben, they, listen, Nigel Ben and Gary Stretch, boy, they both, like, do you know what I mean? Um, both same weight, um, and Nigel's a bit lively, you know what I mean? Anyway, so Nigel was with all, all the women as well, so was Gary Stretch. Nigel had a Menzies with him. Menzies was there. Uh, Ray Sullivan, uh, called the Rolex Ray. He, like, he owns a place called Ticket Throne. He, well, he, that was the name of it then, Ticket Throne. A very likeable guy. Got lots of money. He ain't skinny. He likes to spend his money. He ain't tight. He's a nice, nice guy. Loves a bird. But, that, well, don't they all, you know what I mean? Uh, Nigel Ben, N Nigel, uh, Gary Stretch, Ray Southern, Mickey, Mickey, my mate. Um, there was a load up there. Then Lasardi, Fred Page, that's how long ago it was, Page Free, Lynn Lasardi. She was, uh, there was a lot of Page Free girls up there, but I didn't know. I knew her, Lindy. She was beautiful, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I was introduced to Jake. Introduced to Nigel Ben, Gary Stretch, Ray Sullivan, all the others, Nobby Griffiths, uh, who's got the Bentley Black Bent, who's go out, go out on a Friday night and come back Sundays, all the different clubs and bars. I was fucked because I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't take no drugs, I don't do nothing, yeah? But anyway, uh, introduction to me, everyone is buying me a drink, but I don't drink, so I'm only drinking like lemonade or orange juice and this, that, and the other, yeah? So this is my mate Ray Hill, and hello, Bob May again. This is going to be easy to work me way down at down the market out in garden, and he'd be running my bits and pieces about for me, and you know we've got the right chat anyway. So after that, we went down to a club called Fidenzis. Fidenzis is up until late, late in the morning, what eight, nine o'clock. Downstairs, you got the new one that was upstairs, but this was downstairs, and it was a proper club. It was the best club going, mate. Don't worry about that. Everyone who run a club or owned a club was there. Anybody who run a club, owned a club, or looked after the club was there. It was the in place to go. Everybody loved it, yeah? Drinks weren't all that expensive. Well, I never bought them anyway, but let me tell you a little story. This is the truth, yeah? This is why me getting before, right, this is the truth, yeah? I'm in there, yeah? So all, everyone's in there, Ray Sullivan, Mickey Gooch, fucking, uh, 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 fucking, everyone, everyone is in there, Gary Stretch, everybody you know, everybody you know was in there, put the gangsters, put the villains, yeah? I'm just starting, I'm just a nobody, but I'm an up and coming, up and coming, mate, don't worry about that. Anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm on, the, on the dance floor doing a little bit, as, as you do, watching Mickey and, it, and all that in there and uh, I've noticed in the corner there's this like a Chinese bird, a Thai bird, I'm not sure it was anyway, kept looking over going hello, waving her hair like all those bollocks, you know what I mean? So I thought, fucking hell, she's beautiful, what's she got digging on me for? You know what I mean? Anyway, mind you, I had long hair down there and like that anyway, so um, she's giving all that hello and all that going, come on and all that. I said, yeah, what do you want? Do you want a drink? She said, do you want to have a vodka and carrot, please? Like in, the, in English, but like that, really. Hello? Really posh. I don't know how you do that posh talk, but they're all just talking, anyway. So, 
Anyway, so I bought a, a, a drink and stayed there for a bit of time. And my son came over and started laughing. He gave me some champagne. He said, do you want to drop champagne? Look, put the pan champagne in. And everyone's looking at me and, all oh, that sweet. And all that going on. I thought, yeah. So what are you doing after? Oh, I ain't, got, I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. Um, do you want to come out of my place? What, no leave now, eh? I went, love it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. She's going outside, got a cab. Went to this, went to this block. In Batsy, yeah? This big block, block near Bat Batsy Park. These blocks of flats, yeah? I thought, lovely, you know what I mean? Okay, sort of go in there. Gives us a conjure at the fucking door, this, that, and the other. All right, come up, step up, go in there, looking at me weird. What's fucking going on? Everyone's laughing. <laughs> so I go in the, I go in the, uh, in the front room. Right, this thing says, look, can I, I'm just going to go and take a, 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 have a shower. Wash up a bit, make it make you know, make it look a bit nice for you. I right, love that dude. Come out, fucking hell. Beautiful pair of tits. Look at the bollocks, you know what I mean? I thought, Jesus Christ, I don't deserve this, you know what I mean? All of a sudden it's there kissing and cuddling, put my hands down as a pair of bollocks. Mate, I swear to God <laughs> I swear to God there's a pair of bollocks on Mate, I'm not swearing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not back in prison, I ain't back in prison, mate. I'm out on the street, I'm fucking having this. I was gone, mate. You know what I mean? I, listen, I could have clumped it, I could have given it. What's the point? You're going to get nicked, you know what I mean? Little cameras everywhere. So I went down the stairs, I called some, give me a cab, mate. We didn't go on the stairs, go, what was up? Oh, no. I'm not into this, uh, this sort of thing, mate. You know what I mean? Transsexual, trisexual, whatever you can call them. I'm gone, yeah. So I got a cab. So now I'm going to Nobby Griffiths' house because this is, this is before. I mean, this is after. So it's not going that far in forward. Let's stay as it is, yeah? So I'm down for dances. Never been there before in my life. I've got this bird. I've done this, whatever, come back to the seats, come back for dances. They're all in there, all laughing and giggling. They've all had the same thing by the sorts of it. <laughs> some, of <them laughs> some of them have already done the business, you know what I mean? But I didn't have fuck out <laughs> And I was big then, you know what I mean? So I was gone. Anyway, so I got to the senses. Mickey's laughing, all laughing at me, yeah? So Mickey's like over the moon about me being, seeing him. The mate, he said, come on, we're going to go to Nobby's, yeah? Went down to Nobby Griffith's house and uh, in Chiswick. Went in the roller and it was fucking beautiful, mate. His place was really, really nice. Everyone's drinking there. There's about 20 girls in there, mate. All good sorts, you know what I mean? All pro proper sorts, yeah? There's me all muscular and all that, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's me all muscular and I think, yeah, you know what I mean? And, and, and all the others. But the only thing is with me all being muscles and all this, that now, all the others had lots of money, I didn't, you know what I mean? There was all that, like, fucking absolutely got bundles and bundles of money. Bobby Griffiths, mate, he, I've been told he's dead, and then I don't know, but he was worth fortune, mate. He was fucking molded up, molded up. A nice, nice fella. Uh, had that uh, Wayne Street round him. Wayne Street, <laughs> hello. All that little firm round him and loads of fucking birds, well-known women that, that were on television and guys that were on television, well-known people that I, I can't really remember the names, but the faces. Anyway, and, um, and then... Stayed all night and Mickey Mickey sort of talking to me about what to do, what I'm going to do, this, that and the other. Lovely. So he said, come and pop and see me tomorrow. Not tomorrow, maybe the next day when you've had a sleep and all this, that and the other. I said, oh, okay, well, yeah. Went down to um, the station. He was living opposite uh, Snaresbrook Crown Court at that time. He had a lovely place, mate. Oh, my God. I've never been there. I mean, he said, come to the station. I don't know if it's just Snaresbrook Station, yeah. Go there, Mickey Sage picks me up, goes to the, in the little bush, takes me to the app where he's living. Mate, introduced me to his wife, Kathy, and that little Danny, it's a little baby. Mate, the gaff was immaculate, you know. I mean, a fortune in this. I mean, it, oh, what? She was unbelievable the way she kept that place, you know. I mean, it was like a million dollars, mate. A million dollars, you know what I mean? It was absolutely stunning, yeah. Love to take a picture, but it, it, them days phones were like that. So Mickey's sort of saying to me, you know, like have, have a nice something to eat, have a chat. 
And I keep going down into Mickey's gaff, you know what I mean? And I don't have no money, mate. Mickey ain't giving me no money. Mickey ain't selling me things, but he ain't giving me no money. So anyway, one day I said, look, lend us 50 quid, Mick, will you? He went, listen, I ain't into lending no fucking money, mate. Remember this, I ain't into lending money. Why? But I will give you 50 pounds, right? But let me tell you something. I think that you've been learnt enough, as it happens. We've been down the gym. We also go down the gym every morning. I also have to chat big brains about <laughs> Big dumbbells. Big dumbbells make us a shit yourself, yeah. But honestly, I was bench and pull some big muscles, big, big weights, and make you go, fuck, you know, you couldn't believe it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so powerful, you know what I mean? And I've got on the bag and punching the bag about and I've got him told the pads <laughs> and smash him to pieces, you know what I mean? Ah, and going all over the camp. Mate, I can fight. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, Mickey, me and Mickey are really, really close. As a son, I keep going down to the gym and he's, he, everybody loves me, yeah? So anyway, I've got the station, I've got the money, I've got the money, I've been here 50 quid, he gives me the 50 quid. So, but all before this, Mickey starts taking me to meet people where, where his big company is, and uh, they give me nice clothes, suits and shoes and all these sorts of things. You know, this is the circle I'm in, and they're looking after me, you know what I mean? I thought, mate, this is the bollocks, you know. Looking, going back to my, my, my ass, and looking, I thought, fucking hell, I made it, I might have made it here, you know what I mean? Mickey was the best guy you could ever imagine. Honestly, I fucked it up, but he was the best guy you could ever imagine. He looked after me. Why? Well, he, he didn't give me no money. So I had to earn that money. Yeah? <clears throat> he wouldn't give me money, I had to earn it. But he'd look after me. He had jewelry coming out of his arsehole. He'd give me a ring or watch or something, but he wouldn't give me no cash. Don't sell it, right? You don't sell it, you keep it to yourself, yeah? It's for you. You don't sell it. Every day I ask you where it is. If it ain't on your wrist, it ain't on your finger, the next day it's got to be. You don't sell it, right? No matter how skint you are, you don't sell it. It's collateral, right? Don't sell it. Okay. So I didn't sell, didn't sell the ring, didn't sell the watch, kept it all, right? Give me a chain. Anyway, so I'm, I'm really getting into Mickey now. So Mickey one day said to me, listen, something's happened. Right, I didn't even tell you a little funny thing here. <laughs> Mickey moves to Chigwell, yeah, to a private road in Chigwell. He's got a massive, massive, massive house. Big swimming pool in the back garden. He's got two fucking cats, Platzel and Beigel. These big Persian fucking things, yeah. His place is immaculate. I'm on about it. <laughs> it's Kathy, she's the business. Danny, the daughter, she's the baby. Go in her bedroom, you would not believe it. It's all lace and oh mate, it's a different it's different it's a different life, you know what I mean? You think, fucking hell. Private road, Mickey's got a career outside, Kathy's got a, a, a BMW. I've got nothing. So anyway. I done something for, for Mickey. It was uh, quite nasty. I'm not saying what it is, but it was quite nasty. And um, I got, Mickey said to me one day, he said, do this thing, done this thing with my pal. Got a phone call. When I went on my ass, he said, see you, you little cunt. Don't ever, ever phone me again. Don't ever, ever come over my ass. Me and you have finished. What, what, what? I asked you to do something, he didn't do it. Mickey, I did. Put the phone down. I thought, oh, fucking hell. I thought I was made it and now he's fucked me off. Right? Ten minutes later, the phone goes. He went, see you. Come over to my house now. Get a train. I'll pick you up the station. Um, Chigwell. And I fucking, I'll work Chigwell, mate. Fucking hell. This, that, and the other. Like, anyway, get lost, yeah? Go to Chigwell. He picks me up from the station. In the Carrera. It's <laughs> not my life, mate. Takes me to this place called Howard, 
He's got a car front, Jewish guy. Two of them goes in there. He said, pick a car. Which one do you want? I went, fuck about me. <laughs> Don't fuck about. He said, pick a car. Which one do you want? And this is how old it is. It's a van and plush here, Princess R. Black, immaculate, white leather interior. So bollocks, I picked it. He went, that's yours. He said, that's yours. I went, Mick, thanks, mate. He said, what? He said, we're going to do a business on it, and, was, and then and then bring it over to my house. Yeah? So Mickey went to his house. I know where I am. Drove to his house in the car. Love him, I love it. Got in the house. He went, mate, I love you. I went, thanks for that, mate. He said, it's all done proper. He done what I was asked you to do. He said, I got mixed up. Someone said, someone will see someone, and it wasn't the person that was supposed to fucking, they, they were supposed to have seen. Said it was the person, and that's why I got the other bit, yeah? It was done. Mate, take that, yeah? Give me 10 grand. He gave me 10 grand and the car. I've never had 10 pence in my pocket before, you know what I mean? And also, I've got all these nice clothes, got a little nice ring with a big diamond in it, I've got a nice watch, I've got a nice car, I've got lovely, lovely clothes, and I'm look, being looked after by Mickey. Mickey, I loved him. I used to go to his house a lot, a lot. <laughs> it, like. Anyway, tomorrow I'm going to tell you more of the story. I don't want to spoil you all. Yeah, it's a good story, mate. This is going to go to the bollocks, yeah? You remember that? So please like and subscribe come on you've got to like and subscribe this because this is going to be the business yeah i swear you love it and uh, take care have a nice day and have a nice night yeah bye bye think about me yeah bye bye